YouTube, it's Apple Reviews 23, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 15 Cydia tweaks that I have installed on my iPod Touch of Generation here. Um, I'm just going to be doing a quick uh, review on these tweaks and apps, and I'll be telling you the uh, repo that you can get them from. Alright, so first thing is Activator. Activator is the thing that you get instantly with the first um, tweak or app that you get from Cydia. Um, so, Activator lets you add different uh, gestures to whatever you can do to quick access something. First thing I want to do anywhere, I can uh, pinch with two fingers on my, um, on anywhere, and I can access something like, let's say I want to access the App Store. So now if I pinch with two fingers, hang on a sec. Yeah, I pinch with two fingers, the app store will launch. Um, I find this really useful because I can do a lot of different things by holding gestures. I'm just going to prove to you that I'm not actually hitting it. So let's go over here. If I pinch with two fingers, you see, app store will launch like that. Um, see, there's no app store anywhere around here. Uh, except in multitask. I'll close that off. I'll go over here again so that you can see. And I pinch with two fingers, and then the app store will launch. So this is actually a really useful tweak that you can um, add different gestures if you're too lazy to do something like I am. Uh, that's free from the Big Boss repo if you've uninstalled it. Okay, so the next one is pretty popular. It's called SB Settings. SB Settings actually allows you to quick access any of your settings without actually having to go into the Settings app. I done it. So if we're using this, you can enable Bluetooth. Um, enable disable Wi-Fi, um, change your brightness, um, turn on location services, and you can also get a lot of different ones as well. So I had to go into CDR to install the one that puts your device on silent. So if your silent button is broken or something, you can just use that. Or if you're an iPod Touch, um, you can use that. And you can also go and do a lot more things as well, like put your device into safe mode, lock, reboot, power off. Respring, um, so yeah, I actually find that really useful. That's free from the Big Boss repo. So next one is Barrel Two, not Barrel One. Barrel One is paid. Um, I'm not sure what repo that's from, but you can also get Barrel One for free. But Barrel Two is the um, other other barrel that lets you get more effects. It does delete some of the old effects, but that's really okay. Um, you will need to uninstall the original barrel to get this if you already have the original barrel. Um, and this this barrel is free from the insanely eye repo. Um, so what this adds is basically vortex, triple four left, and page fade. So vortex <coughs> is basically like curl and roll away. So when you switch pages, it turns into a ball and changes like that. But vortex um, basically changes it on the same spot. So it basically fades and morphs into different apps, and it basically sucks them in, um, puts them into a circle and changes the applications. So that's actually pretty cool. Ripple actually doesn't really work for me, and nothing's actually happened, nothing that I can see has happened. But fall left is pretty cool, all the applications just fall down to the side when you switch pages, and they come back up like that. And page fade is in the original barrel as well. It just fades the page, I guess. But I like Vortex, personally. That's free from the Insanely Eye Repo. <coughs> Alright, so the next one is Springtimize 2. Springtimize 2 is $3 from the Big Boss Repo and free from the XLEs Repo and other repos that you can get cracked um, City of Tweaks and Apps. So Springtimize, what you can do with this is basically customize your entire eye device. It is the ultimate customization tweak for any kind of jailbroken iOS device. You can have animations, you can change your lock animation, capabilities, dock, you can have custom numbers, cover flow effect, which is uh, this cover flow effect right here. Uh, how it has makes it look like the icons are coming out of the screen thing. So lock screen, you can display seconds for your clock, which would not work since I have lock screen clock hide on with my new theme, type of phone 4. You can hide the slider knob, you can make a custom label, which is your custom carrier. You can make it time or custom string, and with this you can just type in anything, um, yeah. Um, you can also go to icons, table jittering, resize, etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. 
um, icons, so yeah, just spinning that. Yep, folders, um, app switch. Oh, there's actually a lot of options with this. Um, so yeah, I actually really like it. I use it since I can customize my entire device basically with it. <clears throat> Alright, so the next one is Colored Knob. Colored Knob allows you to have a custom slider knob. I'll just go find it right there. You can enable it, and then you will have a custom sliding knob right there, as I have red. You can change it to pink, blue, light blue. It makes it a lock icon as well. So it's like that. Green. And the original, which is grey. Black. You basically have a lot of options. You can also put a long slider. This is a slightly longer than the other slider. And random. It just keeps randomly changing colors all the time. But I don't use that right now since I have a theme installed. Um, so, yeah, but that's for free from the uh, Big Boss repo. Alright, so the next one I don't even really have to explain is Winterboard. Most of you will know this already. It's free. And basically what it does is it's basically a theme manager. You can select different themes, respring your device, and then those themes will be in your device. If you get a theme from Cydia, or some kind of um, add-on from Cydia for your lock screen or home screen, or anything like that, themes, you go into Winterboard, basically just select it, and then you'll be able to have those themes installed. That's basically it. It's free. So I would recommend getting that. It's a must-have for any jailbroken device. So next is Multi-Icon Mover. Basically, what this does allows you to move multiple icons per page at once. So, say I want to move this one, 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 and say a random one from over here. Say I want to move um, Facebook. I want to move them to this page right here. Just hit the home button, and they'll be there. It does not work for folders unless you have Folder Enhancer, which I'll show in a um, few tweaks. Time. But yeah, basically that is uh, multi-icon mover, that's basically what it does. It's free from the Big Boss repo. The next one is color keyboard. If you're wondering how I got this keyboard right here. Um, ah, whatever. This keyboard right here has black and it has pink. I have no idea how pink got there. It used to be blue. But um, yeah, so you can just type and it has different colors. You can go into your settings app color keyboard select themes you can select different themes here there's black original which I have right now and pop up key this is mine it was blue before but now it just turned to pink randomly alright so you can select different ones I'm just gonna go with green no actually I'll go with blue but if you save it and then respring it will um, save these those you can um, have custom backgrounds I'm not really sure what that does but yeah I'm not really sure what this does actually yeah, theme gallery, but it just shows you a lot of other different ones. Um, that's basically the color keyboard, then you have to respring. The respringing is quite fast, but then you can get a custom keyboard, which is spot that's not working. Um, then they can have a custom keyboard. Okay. So, now, uh, hang on, wait. Color keyboard is from, free from the XLEs repo and $2 from the Big Boss repo as well. Alright, so swipe selection is a pretty good tweak as well. You can just swipe on your keyboard to select different things. Like instead of having to hold down and get the magnifying glass, you can swipe across on your keyboard, basically just to select different parts with your cursor. And if you hold on the backspace button or the delete button, and then you swipe from that, then you get the option to select text as well. So you can just go over here. Say I want to select the S J thingy. Just swipe from that, and then just get here. Then you can just do something like cut, whatever. So you want to paste it there, paste. Mm, yeah. So swipe selection is pretty helpful. So instead of having to hold it down all the time. All right. And swipe selection is free from the Big Boss repo. The next one is iFile. iFile is um, pretty much speaks for itself. You get to um, it's a file manager for your iDevice. <clears throat> and it lets you edit things like I edited this theme, Typo Phone Four. I edited. It. I edited it since it's for the iPhone 4, for S, iPod Touch 4th generation. I edited it to make it compatible with the iPod Touch 5th generation and iPhone 5. 
using this uh, by moving this slider down and everything like that. So now it looks okay. So basically you can edit things, but I wouldn't go and delete anything that's actually really good and needed for your system. So I file is four dollars from the Big Boss repo and free from any other repo that offers cracked applications. Alright, so this one is called Folder Enhancer. Folder Enhancer is free from the Insanely Eye repo. Basically what it allows you to do is um, have different custom folders like this. Um, see how it has... Um, you can have more than the normal amount of icons on your folder and you can have pages as well as you can see there's pages I could swipe but yeah I can't alright there pages so folder enhancer is actually pretty good there's better folders and um, yeah, it's actually quicker to open I think that's folder enhancer free from the insanely I repo Next one is Icon Renamer. Icon Renamer basically allows you to rename your icons. Let's say I want to rename YouTube. Oh gosh. I rename Dictionary. I don't think you can rename web apps, actually. Dictionary. Say I want to rename it High. Now it's actually just says High. So, yeah. Say I want to rename... I'll rename pages. So you can just change the name of anything. Anything basically. That's all the um, icon renamer does. Free from the Big Boss repo. Next one is Dreamboard. Dreamboard is actually really good. I would recommend it to anyone. It's free from the Mod My Eye repo. And what Dreamboard does is it allows you to have different themes set into your device. So look now I'm running on Android. Um, this is the Android theme. I have my Facebook app right here. Um, uh, there's all my applications here. You can add these widgets and stuff. And basically, it actually turns that into your operating system. You can hit the home button. And no, I'm still on the same uh, thing. So this is actually your new home screen springboard. Um, you can also get other ones. Like I have a Windows Vista one. Uh, which I only just recently got. So, yeah, start and Safari. So, yeah, that's basically what that does. Got all programs and there's other stuff here. That's basically what Dreamboard does. Oh my gosh, hang on a sec. I'll just have to add Dreamboard back over here so that I can get back to my normal operating system. Alright, Dreamboard. Alright. So that is free from the Mod My Eye repo. So Grid Tab is the next tweak. It is 150 from the Big Boss repo and free from any other repos. So you can just go and search anything. And now you see, you open up a new tab. You have a new layout for your tabs, which is actually a lot easier to manage. So you just have a new tab layout. Basically, you can just close them off like that. And you can go into settings and change the settings for them as well. That's actually really simple. Um, yeah. Alright, so the next one in the last tweak is called Full Force. What Full Force does is allows you to take those old iPod Touch 4th generation optimized apps and turn them into applications optimized for the iPhone 5. Let's say this random question mark app I got from the App Store, find the pixel or something. See how it has, has these annoying bars? They're actually really annoying. I don't know if you can see them, but you should be able to. But there's annoying bars there. All you have to do is go into Full Force. Find that one, like that one there, and then open it back up. Oh, you have to clear it from the multitasker. Alright, let's clear it. Open it up again, and now it's actually optimized for the um, this device. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see the black bars before, but you might be able to. That's basically my top 15 tweaks, my personal top 15 tweaks. You may disagree, they may not be your top 15, but this is just a quick video showing you my top 15. So please comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave suggestions if you want to see me have a tutorial on something and a review. Uh, so yeah, peace.